Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of Business Every Day. What I want to talk to you about today is actually determining the cost of your items. This is something that I've been thinking a lot about because I'm in the process of constructing a website that I will be taking some of the items that I'm building here in my shop and then hopefully going to be selling them. The cost of an item is something that I thought was going to be fairly easy to understand, but the more I get into it, the more difficult I've actually found it to be to calculate the exact cost of my particular items. To really understand whether or not an item is worth building to sell, there's quite a few things you should actually take into consideration. It's not just can you do it, it's the cost of materials, it's the time it takes to actually construct the item, the assembling of that item, whether that be the actual putting parts together or the finish work it takes to take that product from something rough to something completed. The actual hardware material required to build the item, whether it be bits or tools or things of that nature. Regarding the X-Carve, you also have to account for the modeling process. Yes, if I model it one time, I can use that model over and over and over again, but that first iteration of the model generally is probably not going to work out the way you think it is. So there's going to be several generations of that model and you need to account for that. The website that you will be selling this item on, whether that's a true website or something like Facebook Marketplace or Instagram or whatever platform that you are going to be using to sell your item, the maintenance of that platform is something that you should account for. The other thing that I want to consider being from more of a businessy background than I am a creative background is the opportunity cost. So just because I can make a profit doing this particular thing doesn't mean it is actually worth doing. I need to consider what am I actually missing out on if I build this item? Because I might be able to build an item that sells for $5. I might be able to take that same amount of time and build an item worth $10 or $15 or $35. And so I need to account for the opportunity cost with each of the items that I've decided to sell. The example that I want to use is my carbon fiber bottle opener shark thing. And I built this uh, last week and there's a video up for it. Check it out. And I want to break down the actual true cost to making this item and the determination whether or not I think it's a good item worth selling. I have my sheet of the full breakdown cost of this item. So the 200 millimeter by 300 millimeter piece of carbon fiber, the three millimeter uh, piece of carbon fiber that I carve this out of cost me $35.99 for the entire sheet. If we were to break that down, that means it is 38.72 cents per square inch. To create this shark requires 5.74 square inches, which gives me a carbon fiber material cost of $2.22. The next item I want to consider is the bits themselves because bits aren't going to last forever and I want to account for that. So there are eight bits in the set that I got for $14.59. Um, I'm going to just estimate that I can make 20 carves using each bit in the carbon fiber material. A softer material, you probably can get way more carves, but I'm going to try and be conservative and use uh, 20 carves per bit. If I do all that math, it means that it's nine cents per pass per bit. So my cost every time I carve one of these out is nine cents for my bits. The next cost that I want to consider is my time, my actual labor cost. I'm going to go with the number of $25 an hour for this example. Now on some of my larger projects, it's far beyond that on some of my lesser projects. If that quantity can be far less than that. But if I consider my time, it takes about 10 minutes to make one of these, considering the carve is about seven minutes and about three minutes for finishing. My labor cost on this item is $4.16. If you add all that together, $2.22 for material, nine cents for bits, labor is $4.16. I threw in 20 cents for electricity. That gives me an actual cost of $6.67 per shark. I'm going to round that up to $7 because of wear and tear on my machine and so on and so forth. So it takes seven bucks to make this little thing. Initially, I thought this would be a couple of dollar item, 
but it's actually the true cost if I'm accounting for everything is seven dollars again not that much money but if I then go ahead and start selling this thing at $5.99 $6.99 I'm losing money per item now that number does change if I do things in bigger and bigger quantities because I become more efficient my time goes down so on and so forth but I need to know this going in if I have aspirations to sell this in a typical retail environment, they're going to want to buy it at wholesale. Wholesale is typically 24% off retail. So let's just say that this bottle opener will sell for $9.99. That means my wholesale cost is going to be around $7.59. Now, my cost is 7 bucks, And if $0.59 cents is my profit margin, that means I have an 8.43% profit per item sold. Now, again, the more I make, the more that will actually be. But realize that I'm only making 59 cents per item. Now you're going to be like, wait, Jonathan, you actually accounted for labor costs in your previous calculation. It's not just 59 cents worth of profit. You accounted for $4.16 worth of profit. Yes, I know, I realize, but the way I want to build a business is to account for labor costs because it does cost me something. So there's the profitability of my business and then there's the actual income of my labor. Those things are different in my mind. And if I eventually got to a place where I could have five or six machines and I'm paying people to do what I'm doing now, then I need to be able to account for that labor cost. And so that's the true cost. My true cost on this item is $7. My potential profit is 59 cents per item. I really need to sell this thing wholesale around $7.75 and retail at $9.99. And then I get into the whole fundamental question of, is it worth doing? Is anybody gonna buy this bottle opener for $9.99? Maybe, maybe not. That is where market research comes in. I am doing this math for every item that I make. So I have a log of, I know exactly that this item takes me this much time, this much effort, this much material, and this is how much it actually costs me to make. So that when someone comes to me and says, hey, can you build me this sign? Can you build me this LED thing? Can you? I'd be like, yes, and it will cost me this to actually make. So that's what it will cost. There are some items that are truly not worth my time to build if we're talking about profit. Now, there are certainly tons of projects that are just fun to do, friends, family, exploratory type projects but understand you need to have a grasp of your true cost if you're gonna make a profit here because you could find yourself in a situation where you are committing to things committing to products committing to quantities that you didn't account for all of the costs blue tape sanding pads CA glue whatever it is that you use to make something happen don't just say well yeah I got it already you need to account for the costs Thank you so much for joining in. I hope you learned something today. I know writing it all out, I certainly have made some discoveries with my math and some adjustments that I need to make, but I've really enjoyed being able to share with you my process and I hope to catch you next time.